Yes on, yes on, yes on, yes on. Say less. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Nizion here bringing you another video and today in this video I'll be showing you how you can make 1 million coins in FIFA 19 Ultimate Team without being a good player and that to do it fast and easy. But before we get started into today's video, if you are new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications and also check out controlfreak.com and if you want to buy any controller grips or accessories off the website, please be sure to use the code Nizion to get yourself a nice 10% off your order. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started right into today's video. So a lot of you, including myself, aren't really good at FIFA 19 and we can't just go into foot champions, make it elite or like top 100 to get in the best of the best rewards and guaranteeing yourself to get like 90 plus rated cards and over a million coins very fast and easy. Now recently, I have uploaded a video on how you guys can be making 100,000 coins every hour. You can do that around 10 times and get yourself a million coins very easily. Sometimes you don't always get 100,000 coins, but if you just do it one or two more times to compensate for that, you can be able to get a million coins in a very fast period of time. But if you guys are trying to find other ways that you guys can be making coins very fast and easily, I will be showing you that in today's video. So starting right off by one of the best ways that you guys could be making coins is investing. So I got FIFA 19 about a week before launch uh, and what I basically have done back then was investing in icons. Now right now the cheapest icons on the market, uh, let me just check really quickly. Uh, so icons, I believe it's around 700,000 coins so we're going to check that 700, uh, no it's not even 700k. Not even 700. Okay, so it's 750,000 coins for like the cheapest icon. Now before what I went ahead and did was found some decent icons and what I found was 92 Prime Nesta and I got him for I believe 400,000 coins and later on like after two weeks or three weeks I went ahead and sold it on for around 800,000 coins so I made like double my money right there and also I went for like some other icons as well you can also choose like uh, midfield icons I also went for the French icon let me show you his name really quickly I think I forgot his name so yeah I actually went ahead and used Blanc to invest with as well he was a pretty good card and also there was a winger uh, for forgetting his name yeah, Perez, Robert Perez, I used him as a great investing method as well. And also at the start of the game, gold rare cards were pretty cheap, such as Aubameyang. Aubameyang was going for around 100,000 coins. I went ahead and flipped him for around 300,000 coins. So I made a lot of money on him as well. And also what I went ahead and used was players such as Gareth Bale. Now Gareth Bale at the starting of the game, he was going for around 200,000 coins. And afterwards he shot up to around four. 400 to 500,000 coins and that's what I went ahead and made my profit like that so not even being too smart at FIFA and just choosing some good players to invest in that's also a very great way that you guys could be making coins also investing on team of the week cards such as buying a player from the team of the week that looks pretty decent and saving him until the next Wednesday or the next team of the week comes out you can go ahead and flip them for around 10 to 20,000 coins like that and that's probably one of the best ways that you guys can be making coins by doing nothing as well now also Squad battles is heavily, heavily underrated. Now, I know that some of you guys don't want to play against the computers, but computers and AIs this year, this year especially, is actually very hard to play against, especially playing on Legendary and Ultimate difficulty. They're basically impossible to beat unless you're pro at this game. And also, Playing like these squads four games a day won't really hurt you or your record and you can be getting like gold one, gold two or even elite three for just being an average FIFA player and even obviously every single one of you are probably better than me so you could be getting around elite one or even if you're lucky you could be getting top 100 but that's if you're going to be playing the difficulty on around legendary and ultimate but what I usually play on is world class and professional that's what I think is pretty good for me and my uh, skill level and just playing these matches can get you some good rewards I usually get around elite 3 or gold one elite 3 gets you a mega pack two premium gold players pack 12,000 coins and also a foot swap card 
Now, also, that is very good rewards, but foot swap cards are a great addition to Ultimate Team, and I applaud EA for doing this new feature. Basically, you collect these players or tokens, and you submit them into these mini SPCs for like rare mega packs, packs, and some special cards you can go ahead and get. And that's actually pretty good to see, and just to play Ultimate Team and getting these rewards are very great. Now also people do get lucky by playing uh, weekly objectives and doing daily objectives sorry and after you do these objectives you can actually get yourself some packs and I've seen a lot of people and players be getting a lot of money by just doing and opening these packs and getting like icons and like 90 plus rated but that also comes down to your luck. So it also is very much of a grind if you want to get a million coins or like 10 million coins or whatever you're really dreaming of. It's very hard and it is going to get really repetitive if you want to do so. So that's why a lot of people go towards spending FIFA points and just going to open these packs and hopefully, you know, test their luck to see what they can actually get in these packs. But what I recommend is to completely stay away from FIFA points. Uh, EA have make it much easier for everyone to not even spend a single dollar on this game besides actually buying the game itself and be making a lot of coins, as many coins as you want by just playing games and slowly you'll be getting better at the game and then you can move on to division rivals and then maybe later on into foot champions I've only played foot champions once and I believe I got like gold 3 so I'm not a good player at all in any means and my record shows it right there I've deleted my club a few times but still I am a very bad FIFA player and I still managed to get a lot of coins now also I'll leave the link down below the description at the top right of the screen to actually watch the video on how you guys can get a hundred thousand coins every hour but also hopefully the tips that I've showed you in today's video can help you into be making a million coins very fast and easy without being an amazing FIFA 19 player. So if you guys have any questions, comments or concerns, leave it in the comment section down below. It's been your boy Nizzy and I'll be catching you guys in my next video. Peace out.